all you cool cats and gamers. Welcome back to GDQ Hotfix Showrunner Showcase. Today we're showcasing a variety of our Hotfix shows that you can watch year round. That's right, GDQ is not just twice a year, we've got speed runs every single day of the week. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern on weekdays and 1 p.m. Eastern on weekends. Uh, joining me right now is Conception, uh, showcasing some awfully silly games in honor of his show, Awfully Silly. And we've got some Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer here for us today. You know, and we just we just celebrated Cartoon Cartoon Summer Resort, so now mm -hmm. it's uh, Christmas in July. Yeah, we're, we're taking a full year journey. So we got the summer break, and now we're back into winter. By the time this run ends, you will wish it's summer again, I promise you. Um, but yeah, this is, this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer specifically this is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Nintendo DS. They did make a console version that is marginally better, but one Wikipedia article said that this is the worst movie tie-in game of all time. So I naturally had to check it out. Uh, we got a file name here, which we're gonna go with GDQ Hotfix, because of course we are. And um, I, I also would like to point out, um, as we were getting ready to set up for the run here, I have not played this game in about six months. So I would like to take the time to plug another GDQ hotfix show, which is called Mercy Kill, and is run by the ever fabulous and wonderful and incredible human being Sky Bills, in which that she runs the show, and people who have not run a run in a while will run that run on it and see if they can beat the estimate that they set. And uh, I'm, in my mind, this is a little bit Mercy Kill-ish because I haven't played this game in so long, but this is also a child's game for literal babies, so it would be entirely shocking if I uh, still do not go over estimate. So. Uh, the, this category specifically is called Rudolph book. As you can see on my touch screen here, there's actually four different books. Um, Hermy, I believe that's Mrs. Claus, and then just Reindeer is called the last one. It has no specific name. Um, we're gonna be doing the Rudolph book because of course we are. So I'm gonna click on this and time can go. the others. <laughs> time will go in three, two, one, go. Enjoy a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, GDQ Hotfix is what that said. Um, and yeah, the touchscreen is the focus here. Um, we're gonna be skipping dialogue by clicking that little green arrow in the bottom right corner, because we do not have time to be reading all this text. If you wanna read the text, uh, watch the movie, which is ever so slightly faster than this speed run, by the way. Um, so you you definitely uh, could get, uh, get some more entertainment here. Um, there's a mini game skip right there, which I just did. Um, there, for some reason, so as you, this is kind of like, the best way I describe it, it's like WarioWare, uh, it's like the WarioWare we have at home, basically. It's all these mini games, but there's no, there's no um, um, time limit on them, basically. So you can do them whenever. Uh, and however long it takes them, but obviously we want to still do the games as fast as possible. So we'll, for example, we start off with a nice memory-based game here, which I gotta try to remember where things are. Uh, I don't think we have that one yet. Is What is this one? Yeah, we got a match here. Um, so, and uh, yeah, again, this is all entirely touchscreen focused as well. So I get the, uh, ev no, I got that one wrong. I get the joy of um, using the touchscreen for this entire run. I think that's right. Yep, there we go. Oh, uh, yep, okay. Kind of took a guess on that one, but we're good. Uh, we got the plane. You can, yes, I see someone in the chat saying you can literally speed run anything. And I'd like to double emphasize that, that literally anybody in the entire world can speed run this game um, because uh, it takes no it takes no skill or effort, really. Um, and the game is still pretty accessible. Like at last I had checked, it was still available to buy brand new on Amazon for like $10. Um, and this game is, came out in like 2010. So like, they, they just got supply of this game everywhere, basically. Um, so here we go. We are, uh, we got this uh, little connect the dots thing, but it's like, you know, they're huge. Um, so this is actually a multi-step game. We want to kind of connect these as fast as possible. Um, you don't have to like do them in full circle too. I can essentially just like rub the entire screen until everything is done. What did I miss? Oh, there it is. I found it. And then you gotta um, you gotta put these uh, together, um, essentially. Oops, that needs to go there. That needs to go there. And then it may, it wants you. Um, oh wait, I need to put that there. And then it wants you can't even see it, but I'm I'm actually coloring the train's face there. 
uh, but it doesn't turn the train so you can accurately color it. It just it keeps it at that weird angle. So I just kind of generally rub the, the face area until something happens, um, and that is the tech here. Um, now we got a little paint by numbers action here because everyone loves one of those, and we just kind of take things in order. That is the speed tech here if you were interested. And five, uh, not time for that, but time for the mini game. Not, we're still, we still got plenty of time, don't worry. We got all kinds of time left on the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer mini game. I see someone saying here together, which makes me laugh. Not be, That was an incredible moment in this most recent SGDQ, but saying here together at this moment when I'm playing this game, it, it just makes me laugh because it's like that was such a cool inspirational moment, but for this game, nah. <laughs> Is this the GOAT DS game? This is the Reindeer DS game, actually. Um, okay, so um, we got a little Simon Says action, but it does like one or two at a time. Let's see, I get, it's hard focus right now. You gotta do seven patterns correctly in a row. I hope I can do it. Oh, I have a great memory as it turns out. All right. So we're moving on here. Um, so okay, what it's... even inspired you to start speed running this game? Oh, I would I would love to tell this story. This is a wonderful story. I might be. Oh, actually, let me focus on this. Actually, no, I could do this uh -huh. at the same time. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is like a light bright, basically. Um, you have to match color to color. It's not, you know, you, uh, you can figure it out. But um, the weird part is that you, uh, the DS color on the screen is a little rough sometimes, so sometimes I can't tell what colors are what. Um, but I, this one's pretty simple because it's just red and green, I know that. Um, anyway, how I started running this game. So uh, about two years ago, I decided to go on this like annual challenge, for lack of a better term, which tells uh, which I wanted to learn a holiday themed game every year. Um, and the first year I did this, I learned uh, the Grinch for Game Boy Color. So not the console version that you might be familiar with, but the Game Boy Color version, which is kind of like a Pac-Man light and is terrible. Please don't play it. Um, well, as a speed run, it's terrible, actually. I think the game itself is solid. The second year, I had this game. Now, I received this game many, many years ago when I was a child as a stocking stuffer for Christmas uh, that came out of a like a, a bargain bin, another GDQ Hotfix show, by by the way, shout out to Vesper, um, in some store. I think it was like a five below or something. My mom grabbed it and put it in my stocking and I held on to it for a while. I even tried to sell it by putting it on eBay for a dollar and nobody bought it. So I just I just kept it. And then I looked at it after I had started this speed running journey of mine. And I was like, you know what? I learn a holiday game every year. Why not do this one? So I investigated it and uh, yeah, here we are on the big GDQ stage running Rudolph the uh, Red-Nosed Reindeer for the Nintendo DS. Um, uh, this one is, oh, we got to find Hermie. Did it easy. Yeah, there's just some very simple games. Um, and there are plenty of games in here that, mini games, by the way, that you can actually skip in here. Most of them are like paint, like painting or decoration based. It'll be like, here's a doll, decorate it however you want but you can just choose to not decorate it at all and keep it like a blank canvas, which is what we'll end up doing most of the time. So um, let's see, is this the one? There is a there is an actual strat coming up here. I think it's this mini game. If not, it's the next one. Um, oh no, it's not this one. This one we gotta win. Oh, I forgot you can press A, whoops. Yeah, so this one you wanna win or else you can't advance, but you can just do so by mashing A or the touch screen, either way works. But A is, uh, mashing A seems to be a little bit faster than mashing the touch screen for me. But this one, there, we're gonna say rip to our, our boy Rudolph here because the strat is to die. <laughs> we don't got time. We tried our best to fly, even though uh, we get a nice little shout out here at the end saying nice flying, but I just, we, t we tank it. We absolutely tank it. <laughs> this game, the game is exactly that, a misfit toy. Yes, shout out to Rudolph in the Island of Misfit Toys. I hope they made a DS sequel to that because I should learn that one next. But uh, also seeing some deer shout outs from the excellent deer simulator speed run from this past GDQ by Shockwave, which was an incredible, incredible run. Uh, definitely shout out to that. That is by far the more superior deer game, and I, I have no problem saying that. So... But uh, I did submit this for the GDQ. We did miss out on a deer block, obviously. We, we could have had a deer block. It's what we could have had. 
you know, but you know, winter, the next uh, GDQ event is uh, in winter. So maybe we'll get, we'll get some love there, you know, J just post Christmas. You never know what can happen. I'll be trying. I'll be trying out there. Six. Uh, oh, I missed one six actually. There we go. Nice paint by numbers again. All right. Um, I, I'm trying very hard not to spoil it. By the way, this song, this run ends fantastically. I'm just, if you, if you're like, this is what I'm watching on the screen is wild and I cannot keep up with it and it's just strange. Hold on, because it ends fantastically. I'm just gonna tease, tease a little bit there. Um, also, hope you are all enjoying um, the uh, the looping song for eternity, just like it was in my uh, CCSR run. Get on there. Yeah, this so, is gonna be stuck in my head for the rest of the fourth. <laughs> yes, yeah, Christmas in July. So uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Uh, but that was another example of a, a mini game we can skip early. We did have to roll the uh, snowballs there, but then it wants us to decorate the snowman and we could just choose not to. So uh, we will always choose not to. The song will be burned into everyone's brains. <laughs> So uh, we, we I, I've already thrown out to uh, thrown out a lot of references to the most recent GDQ. I, I was there, and obviously, Nukes, you were there as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty obvious. I'm sure the answer is pretty obvious. But uh, what were some of your favorite moments of this last GDQ? Oh gosh, uh, the Beta Quest. I'm sure that's a a mm. lot of people who have seen that. Everyone probably agrees that mm -hmm. that if you have not watched the Taz Bot Beta Quest run. Please do yourself a favor and make sure to go check that out. That was just absolutely phenomenal. I what about you, Conception? What's your what's your must watch from SGDQ? I will answer that in one second because I fully forgot I have to do a word search uh -oh. here. Um, <laughs> so this actually, there we go. I got him. Um, my favorite moments. Let's see. Um, so uh, the, uh, a little, little selfishly, I'll say here, but this is the first time I've gotten to host at a GDQ in person. Um, so just being in the room and feeling that energy while runs were going on live and the audience was there clapping, mm -hmm. I like I that I got chills every shift and I, I, I it was just awesome to me. I think I have to redo that mini game. Did I fail? Uh -oh. uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, no, I think I'm good actually. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. Okay, no, we're good. Um, but yeah, that would probably be one of my favorite parts. But in terms of other runs that were some of my favorites, um, I really enjoyed um, the speed run of Spyro by Dale Man. Uh, that was a really excellent run. I'm a big Spyro fan. Um, the beta showcase that you brought up, actually, so un unlike uh, unlike you, I'm sure, who's somebody who just ran Oc an Ocarina of Time speedrun at GDQ, yes. I actually don't, <laughs> I don't have a big Zelda or Ocarina of Time presence in my life, so I don't mm -hmm. have that connection like other people do. But when I saw that, I cried. I cried. It was just yes. such a beautiful, yes. beautiful moment that stuck with me. And they actually, they actually even had an event T-shirt with Taskbot and the tri uh, the Triforce on it. And I I bought it because it just meant so much to me. And mm -hmm. uh, it was unbelievable. And being in the room for that moment too, oh, it was just like we we're all bonding and tearing up and just on the edge of our seats, waiting to see what was going to happen next. It was just that's something I'll never forget too. Yeah, that being out live again with everyone else and experience stuff like that moment and other moments like reaching three million in person mm -hmm. I, I cannot replace that all right we got a, a touch based mini game here the boat which one a charlie in the box still okay i got them all um a few other runs that i wanted to shout out uh, on day one the rolled out speed run by helix which is like a marble roller it's, it's, uh, similar to monkey ball but this one had a lot of different elements huge hugely wonderful run definitely watch their run incredible another run i really want to shout out was one of my favorites from the entire event was solar ash by brian otto incredible <laughs> run developer yes. on the couch um, just like actually incredible tech and it just stylistically beautiful. Uh, everything about it was just perfect. Um, so definitely check that run out if you missed it because it was it was incredible. Those are some of my favorites. But enough about SGDQ, which was wonderful, of course. We are here also talking about the year-round GDQ, the GDQ hotfix. Um, 
This is uh, like, in case you missed it at the beginning, I run a show called Awfully Silly, as you can probably imagine, because this is probably not the normal game you might be accustomed to seeing on the GDQ stage. But here we are, just doing our best, having a good time. Um, this puzzle always messes me up a little bit because I can't see all of the pieces until it's usually too late. Let me see if I can just get on over there. It's just visually hard for me to, to wrap my brain around. Uh, around. I think we want to go no we want to go here there we go there we go i swear i'm an adult and i can do a nine piece puzzle normally but uh it, it is tough on the touch screen it is tough visually um i actually forgot to start my live split so i have no idea if we're close to the end or not but it's not a very long run you'll know you'll know the end when it's coming up uh, we're getting we're getting to the uh, we're getting to the end decently soonish. We're about 13 minutes into the run right okay, now. Okay, we actually have a little bit longer than I thought. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit longer, but not too much longer. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe. But um, oh, I hope I got to tap tap his belly. There we go. He's just a ha spoiler. By, by the way, if you haven't seen this movie, um, I, I'm not even going to say spoiler. This movie's like 50 years old. Please, please watch it at some point if you're interested. But uh, yeah, that that little Yeti guy is actually just a, a humble bumble is what uh, Yukon Cornelius refers to him as. So he's, he's just a good little guy. He's not actually uh, very, uh, very scary at all. Uh, we have to make, I guess this is a reindeer, but it's purple and yellow and blue. I don't really know exactly what this is supposed to be. Um, any best guesses in the chat or nukes or anybody as to what animal this is supposed to be? Because I got nothing. Who's what animal is supposed to be purple like this? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna do. Yeah, I think that I think that's yellow. It, it look. It probably looks actually a lot more clear on the screen that you're watching than I'm looking just straight down at my D DS and the colors are a little bit tricky. So I'm hoping I'm getting all these colors right. Nope, that's wrong. Um. But yeah, they're all click and drag too. And if you put one in the wrong spot, it's not like, oh, I can just pick it up and drag it somewhere else. I have to cancel it and then replace it, which takes some time. So ideally we don't have to do that at all. I think it's just th these three more, right? Yeah, okay, cool. We, we got there. It looks like a, yeah, okay. I, I can see the pig. Does it look potentially more pink than it does on my screen? Because it looks just like that hardcore purple. Looks, that is a pig. Okay. That is 100% a pig. Someone says radioactive pit. I hope I hope not. That's terrifying. Um, but yeah, it looks like hardcore purple and blue on my screen. So I don't know if, if it came across that way on this, this stream, but the DS colors are a little bit wonky sometimes. A gremlin. Yeah, I like that. Um, so um, we got a few things here. We got to just bump bump the grumble off there. And we think Yukon has fell to his death with the uh, the Yeti there. But uh, spoiler alert, that's not what happens. Going to come right back here in a second. Um, if you are interested in learning this run, I'm concerned, but you, uh, you have my attention. Um, you can this game, like I said, if you you know you have a DS with a capture card, this game is pretty easy to access and it's very cheap. So you can get it, like I said, brand new for ten dollars. Last I had checked on Amazon, but even if you want to get it cheaper, I bet you could get it off of eBay for like a a dollar or two. Uh, this mini game is gross, and I do apologize. Also requires a little audio cue for me because, again, the DS colors are a little rough, so I can't fully tell when things disappear unless I hear a little popping sound. There we go. I can hear it a little bit. Imagine if you lived your life and your mouth was this way, though. Like, you got other concerns besides, like, the North Pole or whatever. Um, the reason why you might be wondering, like, why the heck are we doing this and root off the red nosed reindeer? Why am I trying to clean some guy's teeth? Um, Hermie, who is one of the elves here, if you have not seen the uh, the movie or show or whatever you want to call it, doesn't really like being a, a, Chris, a North Pole elf, doesn't like making toys, not really his jam. He wants to be a dentist. So this is part of his, you know, first foray into dentistry. Look at those pristine teeth. Is this a horror game now? You know that meme that's like, you know, Rudolph was it's those astronauts in space. It's like, you know, Rudolph was a horror game. There's another astronaut behind him with a gun pointed. And it's, he says, always has been. Yeah, always has been. Speedruns from the Crypt. Yeah, shout out to Speedruns from the Crypt as well. Another fantastic GDQ show featuring horror-based speedruns every other Wednesday. I believe that one starts at 10 p.m. Eastern. 
um, every other Wednesday. So shout outs to uh, Ecdysis, who runs that show. Incredible show. Yep, it is indeed a Nintendo DS game. I did allude to at the beginning, this game does have a console version, which I if I've never played it. I know it's on the Wii, and it could be on other things too. I'm not entirely sure. But if I remember correctly, it functions more like a, uh, a, a 2D platformer, or it might also have other mini games in it as well. I, I, I've never played it, like I said, so I, I cannot attest. Um, so we'll, we'll have to find that out together, chat, because I, I really don't know. Uh, wrong clouds. Darn. Uh, that was here? Nope, wrong one. Uh, my memory is not what it used to be, gang. Um, it's full, full of strats for actually good games. This is my excuse. Nope. Oh, cool. Got lucky there. Nope. But we got we do have these the tornadoes. Um, I don't I don't have lore for this one. I was trying to think of something, but I got nothing. Um, that's a moon. I think, you know, Santa needs to know the weather for travel. Actually, that's probably it. Uh, <laughs> the whole premise is that, you know, it's too foggy and we can't get out in the uh, in the snow or the fog. So Rudolph's got to save the day, right? So we're probably just trying to give Santa the weather forecast. Get ready for the uh, get ready for the thing. Yes, it is all mini games. It is very much like a, uh, a, a WarioWare for kids. So you don't have the pressure of the timer, but there are all these little micro games and like, you know, child development type games. Um, yeah, okay, so you guys are you're all saying the uh, um, the Wii one is also mini games, just different ones. This mini game also bugs me. One, you don't have to do anything, like, I could just let this go and nothing matters, so we just have to let it play out. But even if you do play it, the sounds are not on the beat, and that bugs me because it's more about uh, color matching and timing, I guess. But yeah. I actually I have a music degree, so it bugs me oh, no. that, that it doesn't <laughs> yeah. match and uh, neither and the pitches don't match either. So I'm just going to stop. This is ridiculous. I don't have to put up with this. I simply don't have to do this. I just so, have to wait. So for it when to are you going to speed run the Wii version now that we know there's a Wii one? I didn't know that. I have not. Uh, I have not formally announced what this year's holiday game is going to be. So uh, mm. I got options. I have teased it a little bit, but um, I yeah, I would like to try it out. I actually don't have a Wii, so I'd have to get a Wii as well. <laughs> but it, oh, you never okay. know. Yeah. You never know. Could be. I'd love to give it a shot sometime because I'm sure it is fascinating. Um. All right. Yeah. We're 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 getting a little bit close to the end here. I believe that one of the next. Yeah. I was gonna say one of the next mini games is another matching one in which we have to get Santa dressed for the big day. Um. So we're gonna be doing that here. I don't think we got a shirt yet. Nope. Oh, all right. We got the sack of presents, of course. Uh, boots up there. Uh, we don't have either of those yet. Uh, I don't think we have either of those yet. We do have a shirt. Uh, nope. I know we have a glove, but I picked the wrong one. There we go. This game looks fantastic. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> It, it's a game. It is definitely it's a video game that you can play in the year 2022 for sure. Uh, it's actually optimal, uh, optimal speed wise with the last two uh, two memory games being in the bottom right corner, because that means we can click faster. So that is a good RNG, as the gamers say. I did not think dressing Santa was a Rudolph's job description. Yeah, I think we're just kind of like a, an otherworldly presence that is just living through the story. I don't think Rudolph is the one in charge of making sure Santa is dressed for uh, the big day. So that is good. That is good to know. Um, connect the dots and it will trust me when I say it looks ex like I'm just writing a circle and I drew definitely exactly that. So no one question it. I just am really that good at art on the Nintendo DS touchscreen. All right, so yeah, we're, we're up, up and away. We're getting close to the end here. Needs more burl lines. I might be able to help you out here. The, here's the finale. Here we go. Rudolph the red nose reindeer had a very shiny nose. Like the light bulb. And if you ever <laughs> saw it, you would even say it glows. Oh, that's the, I, I messed it up. All the other 
tear. <laughs> you still have it. Call him names. Like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Don't bully people. Like Monopoly. In one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say. Ho, ho, ho. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him. As they shouted out with glee, yippee! Yippee! Ooh, the red nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. If you notice as well, like the George Washington. Yes, like George Washington. If you notice as well, the bouncing ball also doesn't match the song, which also bothers me. Oh, God. Uh, time is coming up, by the way. Here we go. And I believe, I, don't, I honestly don't remember what time is. Time. We'll just call it there. Uh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Cat jams in the there, chat. There should be in the rules that you have to sing mm -hmm. in order for this run to be valid. Yeah, I think. <laughs> speaking of in the in the leaderboards, I, I think there might be two runners of this category, and then the other three books here, like I mentioned, they are uh, Hermie, Mrs. Claus, and I think it's just called Reindeer. Uh, I, I ran a Hermie one once, which is ever so slightly longer, and I have not run the other two. So if you want a free world record for uh, Mrs. Claus or reindeer categories, feel free to uh, pick up this game and run it, uh, and also challenge the other two. Um, again, I don't even know what the speedrun.com page of this is. Just search Rudolph, uh, the DS version, you'll find it. Um, weirdly, again, no Discord, because it would, it would just be a Discord of one once again. But um, yeah. Um, all of this to show and demonstrate what is, of course, awfully silly. A speedrun show every other Monday as a part of GDQ's Hotfix programming on Team Velocity Weeks uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern, a show that features runs that would heavily be inspired by games that would be in the awful or silly blocks of other you know, of, of any mainline GDQ event. These ones are locked, by the way, because I just started from a fresh file, so... Um, you have to uh, play one to unlock the others. But yeah, uh, that's it for me. Dukes, thank you so much for putting this together. It has been incredible. I am gonna, looking forward to watching the rest of it and catching the VODs or the stuff that I've missed. And uh, yeah, please watch GDQ Hotfix. We worked so hard on it and it's incredible. So please watch it. Yes, it is. Thank you so much for coming on and showcasing some awfully silly games for us in honor of awfully silly. Uh, chat, we're going to take a quick little break, but after this, we're, the winter fun has not ended. ended. We're going to have Church and Sarge uh, showcasing the Grinch for PC and teaching us how to speedrun it uh, during uh, some How to Train a Speedrunner edition. So stay tuned. We'll be right back.